Did you just buy a new Xbox Series X and you want to set up game sharing on there but you're not really sure how? Then make sure you watch this video where I show you how to set up game sharing on the Xbox Series X. Welcome back everybody, my name is Wayne and thank you so much for being here. And like I mentioned, I'm going to show you how to set up game sharing on your new Xbox Series X. But before we do, let's go ahead and talk real quickly about what game sharing allows you to do. So you will be able to game share between your Xbox Series X and your Xbox One. However, for PCs, you will not be able to share with them. Now game share also gives you the ability to share your Xbox Live, your digital games, and your Xbox Game Pass or Game Pass Ultimate. So let's go ahead and talk about how to set up game sharing. And in order to do that, the account that has purchased Xbox Live and the games and so on is going to need to sign into the secondary console that you want to share to. And once you're on that console, you'll want to use your gamer tag, aka the main account, to set their home Xbox on that console. And so for example, if I want to share games with my son, I will need to sign my main account onto his console, and then I would make my account the home Xbox on his console. And so what I would like to do to make this a little bit more clear is to walk you through the steps in just a moment. But before we do that, guys, if you're finding value in this video, please make sure you hit that thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump over to the Series X so I can walk through those steps right now. All right, guys, and as you can see, I am on my other account on the Xbox Series X. And currently, I don't have my main account on here because I wanted to show you this real quick. So if you go back to your home screen and you go out to store and you go down to subscriptions, you should see under subscriptions that I do not own the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, which my main account currently does. Um, it does show that I own Xbox Live because this account that I'm on does technically have that for another console that I'm using it on. However, again, it does not show that I owe the Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. So what I'm going to do is set up my home Xbox under my main account, and then we should come back here and see that I do own the Xbox Game Pass on this secondary account on my console. So let's go ahead and get signed into my main account here by going over to Profile and Systems and going down to Add or Switch, and then lastly, Add New. So now that we have the account signed in, the next thing that we need to do is go back into your settings and then you're going to go to general, go over to personalization, and then down to my home Xbox. Now down here, I'll need to click on this to make this my home Xbox, and then make this my home Xbox again. Now here you can see something that's really important is you have five switches left. So um, you only get five switches in a year. So if you've done this a few times, you may have less than five switches, but keep that in mind, you only get so many a year and you wanna make sure that you stay within that number. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this my home Xbox. And so now that we have the home Xbox set up, I went ahead and went back over to my secondary account on the Series X here to show you guys, if we go down to the store, go back over to subscriptions, and then we scroll down to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate and Xbox Live. And as you can see here, both of them show that I own those particular items. Okay guys, and so that's how you set up the home Xbox to begin sharing on your Xbox Series X. Now, if you're still having trouble with this, there is one solution that another viewer found that seemed to work for them is once you've set your home Xbox up with the main account on your shared console, then you can go ahead and remove that same main account from the console. But please keep in mind when you do that, make sure you're only removing the gamer tag. Do not remove your home Xbox setting from that same console you just shared with. You're only going to remove your gamer tag from there. All right, guys, and speaking of needing to remove that home Xbox, if for some reason you need to do that, but you're not really sure how, then make sure you check out this video right here where I show you how to remove your home Xbox from the console. And with that said, guys, thank you so much for being here, and I will see you in the next one.